Welcome to Quiz Time. I've got 100 questions today about baby boomers. Well, that should be an easy one for us, shouldn't it? Well, anyway, let's start with question number one and see what we know. Wham-O Toy Company started selling Morrison's Flying Discs on January 23rd, 1957. What was it initially called? The Flying Disc, the Pluto Platter, or the Frisbee? It was called the Pluto Platter. Which singer and songwriter was labeled as the Queen of Rock and Roll? Patsy Cline, Tina Turner, or was it Aretha Franklin? The queen of rock and roll was Tina Turner. Which band famously performed, I Want to Hold Your Hand? Was it the Beatles? Was it the Beach Boys? Or was it the Rolling Stones? And that band was the Beatles. What is the title of the Beach Boys' iconic album released in 1962? Pet Sounds, Surf and Safari, or was it Endless Summer? It was Surf and Safari. Who sang the hit song, What I Say, in 1959? Was that Buddy Holly? Was it Chuck Berry? Or was it Ray Charles? It was Ray Charles. Which Western TV series, released in 1955, starred James Arness as the main character? Was it Bonanza? Was it Gunsmoke? Or was it The Rifleman? It was Gunsmoke. Who was the main character that the Gunsmoke series centered on for 20 seasons? Was it Matt Dillon? Was it Dave Dickens? Or was it Ricky Martin? Gunsmoke, all about Matt Dillon. Which 1961 sitcom featured a talking horse owned by Wilbur Post? Oh... Horses, the horses, the horses, of course, of course, of course, it was Mr. Ed. What is the real name of the musician who released Tutti Frutti in 1955? Was it Richard Berry? Was it Richard Simmons? Or was it Richard Henneman? The real name was Richard Henneman. In 1963, Eric Clapton became the lead guitarist for which rock band? Was it the Kinks? Did he play for the Yardbirds? Or was it the Animals? It was the Yardbirds. What Fisher Price toy from 1957 features bouncing colored balls in a dome making popping noises? The Corn Popper? The original Mr. Potato Head or Lincoln Logs? It was the Corn Popper. Who invented the Corn Popper and sold it to Fisher Price the same year they released it? Was it Arthur Holt? Was it Anthony Pratt? Or was it Roger Daltrey? It was Arthur Holt. Which murder mystery board game did Waddington's create in 1949? Was it Monopoly? Was it Pluto? Or was it Scrabble? It was Clue. Do? Which Fisher-Price toy, introduced in 1960, aimed to teach children hand-eye coordination and the color wheel? Was it the Slinky? Was it Rock'em Sock'em Robots or rock -a stack It was rock -a stack Which U.S. children's show, debuting in 1947, was the first nationally televised program? Was it Meet the Press? Was it Howdy Doody? Or 
was it the Queen's Messenger? It was Howdy Doody. In what year did Rosa Parks refuse to give up her seat on a bus in Montgomery, Alabama? Was the year 1954, was it 1955, or was it 1960? It was 1955. What fashion item for women became popular in the 1960s and is often associated with Mary Quant? A-line skirt, poodle skirt, or the mini skirt? It was the mini skirt. What popular skirt in the 1950s did Julie Lynn Charlot design in 1947? The A-line skirt, the poodle skirt, or the mini skirt? It was the poodle skirt. Which French designer coined the term A-line as a label for a spring collection in 1955? And that French designer was Christian Dior. What was the very first collection launched by Christian Dior in 1947 famously called? The Haute Couture, The New Look, or The Fashion Now? It was The New Look. What was the name of the Soviet spacecraft that carried the first woman in space in 1963? Was it the Luna 2, the Vostok 6, or the Sputnik 1? It was the Vostok 6. What was the name of the Soviet cosmonaut who was the first woman to travel in space in 1963? Valentina Tereshkova, Victoria Chekovia, or Valeria Tchaikovsky. It was Valentina Tereshkova. What specific date in 1963 was Valentina Tereshkova sent to travel in space? May 23rd, June 16th, or was it July 18th? June 16th was the date. In 1961, which American astronaut was the first to orbit the Earth, flying aboard Freedom 7? Was it Gus Grissom, was it Buzz Aldrin, or was it Alan Shepard? It was Alan Shepard. Which chemical manufacturer and supplier released the slogan, Wherever the World Needs Chemicals, in 1963? It was Albright and Wilson from the UK. What advertising slogan did Kit Kat first use in 1957 and is still popular now? That slogan is, have a break, have a Kit Kat. As per Dior's wishes, who became his successor when he died in 1957? Giovanni Maria Versace, Coco Chanel, or Yves Saint Laurent? It was Yves Saint Laurent. Who became the creative director for Dior in 1960 after Yves Saint Laurent was deemed unfit for the role? Gianfranco Ferre, Mark Bowen, or John Galliano? It was Mark Bowen. Which brand did Reynolds Tobacco introduce in 1956 as the first filter-tipped menthol cigarette? Was it Camel, was it Marlboro, or was it Salem? That would be Salem. Which news anchor became the managing editor of the CBS Evening News in 1962? Was it Walter Cronkite, Tom Brokaw, or was it Dan Rather? That was Walter Cronkite. 
What term was commonly used in the 1960s to describe something cool or awesome? Was it groovy? Was it swell? Or was it far out? In the 1960s, it was groovy. If someone said, can you dig it, in the 1960s, what were they saying? Will you fix it? Can you lend me money? Do you understand me? When they said, can you dig it, they were asking, do you understand me? Which boomer slang is another term for clothes? Cottons? Threads? Or patch? Hey, check out my new threads. Which boomer slang is another term for television? Did they call it the boob tube? Is it a teletub? Or tubes? Uh, boomer sling for television. Stop watching too much boob tube. What does the term far out mean in baby boomer slang? Left behind? Exciting or amazing? Or does far out mean confusing? Uh, something's far out. It means it's exciting or amazing. Which popular female clothing did Alan Gant introduce in 1959? Tights, stockings, or did he in introduce pantyhose? It was pantyhose. I think they came in plastic eggs, didn't they? Which character did George Pal create in 1951 for an Elka Seltzer commercial? Speedy, Wade, or was it? Alan. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz, it was speedy. What guitar model did Fender release in the spring of 1954? Was it the Stratocaster? Was it the Telecaster? Or was it the Starcaster? It was the Stratocaster. Which comedian had a novelty record with My Boomerang Won't Come Back in 1961? Was that Max Diamond? Was it Jill Barber? Or was it Charlie Drake? It was Charlie Drake. Who is the songwriter of the song Crazy, popularized by Patsy Cline in 1961? Was it Barbara Mandrell? Was it Willie Nelson or Happy Daily. It was Willie Nelson. Which artist performed the 1962 novelty song Monster Mash? Was that Gary Paxton? Was it Bobby Pickett? Or was it Lenny Capizzi? It was a graveyard bash. Bobby Pickett. If a place is described as a pad in baby boomer slang, what is it most likely referring to? A soft cushion, a comfortable home, or a type of dance floor? My pad, a comfortable home. What was the title of the Beatles' debut studio album released in the UK in 1963? Please Please Me, With the Beatles, A Hard Day's Night. It was, please, please me. Which book written by Eric Kastner was the Parent Trap movie about? The Double Lottie, Lyra and Lottie, or the Doppelganger? It was the Double Lottie. Who invented the computer mouse in the 1960s? Was it Bill Gates? Was it Stephen Jobs, or was it Douglas Engelbart? The computer mouse was invented by Douglas Engelbart. Which computer, introduced in 1956, was the first to feature a hard disk drive, an HDD, 
the IBM 650 computer, the IBM 305 Ramac, or the IBM 350 disk. It was the IBM 305 Ramac. Which character did Audrey Hepburn play in the film Breakfast at Tiffany's in 1961? Holly Golightly, Haley Gotham, or Hannah Goldberg? Audrey Hepburn played Holly Golightly. Which 1959 film featured a chariot race that became one of the most famous scenes in cinematic history? Was it Spartacus? Was it Ben-Hur? Or was it Lawrence of Arabia? It was Ben-Hur. What legendary boxer became the youngest heavyweight champion in history in 1956? Was it Muhammad Ali? Was it Joe Frazier? Or was it Floyd Patterson? It was Floyd Patterson. The title was passed down by which boxer who retired in 1956? Archie Moore, Joe Frazier, or Rocky Marciano? Rocky Marciano. Patterson lost and regained the title in 1960 until he lost again in 1962 from a knockout by which boxer? Sonny Liston, Ingmar Johansson, or Muhammad Ali? It was Sonny Liston. Which novel turned film in 1961 did Paul Newman play the lead? The Silver Chalice? The Hustler, or was it Exodus? It was The Hustler. Which American athlete won three gold medals in track and field at the 1960 Summer Olympics in Rome? Was it Jesse Owens? Was it Bob Beeman? Or was it Wilma Rudolph? It was Wilma Rudolph. Who wrote the novel, On the Road, published in 1957? Jack Kerouac, Allen Ginsberg, or was it William S. Burroughs? It was Jack Kerouac. Who wrote the 1956 Beat Generation classic poetry, How? Jack Kerouac, Allen Ginsberg, or William S. Burroughs? And it was Allen Ginsberg. When were U.S. postmasters instructed to switch residential deliveries from two to one trip per day? April 17, 1950, June 15, 1950, or August 7, 1951? April 17, 1950. Which scientist won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1952? but received it in 1953. George Marshall, Albert Schweitzer, or Hermann Staudinger? It was Albert Schweitzer. For which crime was the Rosenberg couple executed in 1953? Espionage, treason, or were they guilty of bombing? They were executed for espionage. Who was featured on the front cover of the first issued Playboy magazine in 1953? Was it Doris Day? Was it Julie London? Or was it Marilyn Monroe? It was Marilyn Monroe. Which toy? With a plastic version introduced in the late 1950s, featured a hoop that could be skillfully twirled around the waist. That was the hula hoop. In the 1960s, which TV show featured a family of spooky characters, including Gomez, Morticia, and Uncle Fester? That was the Adams Family. 
what was the initial title of the first edition of the Guinness World Records, published in Great Britain in 1955. It was the Guinness Book of Records. Who eclipsed Babe Ruth's Major League record by hitting 61 home runs in 1961? Was it Willie Mays? Was it Mickey Mantle? Or was it Roger Maris? It was Roger Maris. On November 3rd, 1957, a dog was sent into space becoming the first to orbit Earth. What was its given name? That pooch was named Laika. Which of the former U.S. presidents below is not a baby boomer? Bill Clinton, Donald Trump, or Joe Biden? Joe Biden is not a baby boomer. Which of the former U.S. Pres presidents below did not start their presidency during the baby boomer period? Harry Truman, Dwight Eisenhower, or Lyndon Johnson? It was Harry Truman. The children's book, Where the Wild Things Are, published in 1963, was authored by whom? Rawad Dahl, Maurice Sendak, or Dr. Seuss? And that was by Maurice Sendak. What bike model did Schwinn introduce in 1963 for kids keen on giving their bikes a motorbike look? A Stingray, Super Sport, or Cycle Truck? It was the Stingray. Who starred alongside Audrey Hepburn in the romantic comedy film Roman Holiday, released in 1953? Cary Grant, Humphrey Bogart, or Gregory Peck? It was Gregory Peck. Which bicycle seat gained popularity among baby boomers upon the release of the Stingray bicycle? The strawberry seat, the banana seat, or the papaya seat? That would be the banana seat. What was the Supreme's first chart-topping hit that they recorded in 1964? Baby Love, Stop in the Name of Love, or Where Did Our Love Go? It was Where Did Our Love Go? What was the domestic letter rate in the United States in 1950? What did it cost to buy a stamp in 1950? Three cents per ounce. Oh, the days. What was the airmail rate in the United States in 1959? Back when airmail was a thing here, seven cents per ounce. Which 1950s slang term describes a male hairstyle characterized by slicking the hair back on both sides to overlap at the back of the head? Ducktail or duck's ass. What was the first toy to be advertised on television in 1952? Woody, Mr. Potato Head, or Slinky? It was Mr. Potato Head. What important part of a toy was not included in the original 1952 Mr. Potato Head kit? In the original kit, you didn't get the head. Hmm. What set the eyes of the original Barbie doll apart? The green eye color? She was all white, or she looked to the side. She looked to the side. 
which 1950s science fiction film depicted an alien invasion with the famous line, Klaatu Barada Nikto, The Day the Earth Stood Still, War of the Worlds, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. The Day the Earth Stood Still. Which vocal ensemble gained fame for the 1959 release, There Goes My Baby? Was it the Platters? Was it the Drifters? Or was it the Coasters? There goes my baby, said the Drifters. Sang the Drifters. Which girl group formed in the 1950s is famous for songs like Will You Love Me Tomorrow, The Shirelles, The Shelbys, or the girl pops. That was the Shirelles. Which state does the Shirelles come from? Are they from New York? Are they from New Jersey? Or are they from California? The Shirelles come from New Jersey. What camera line did Kodak introduce in 1963? The Kodak Easy Share, the Kodak Brownie, or the Kodak Instamatic? They introduced the Kodak Instamatic. Which song by the Shangri-Las from 1964 opens with the lyric, Is she really going out with him? Leader of the pack, Be My Baby. Will you love me tomorrow? It is leader of the pack. Who became a fashion icon for his stylish suits on the TV show Mad Men set in the 1960s? Walter White, Don Draper, or Tony Soprano? It was Don Draper. Which city was President John F. Kennedy assassinated in in 1963? Was it Dallas, was it New York, or was it Los Angeles? President Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas. Which model, manufactured by RCA in 1954, was the first color television set for commercial use? Color Master, Technicolor Vision, or CT-100. It was the CT-100. Which carrier inaugurated the world's first commercial jet service on May 2, 1952? Was that Pan Am? Was that BOAC? Or was it Air France? It was BOAC. What treaty Signed in 1963, limited nuclear weapons testing between the U.S. and the Soviet Union, the Non-Proliferation Treaty, the Partial Test Ban Treaty, or the Limited Test Ban Treaty. It was the Limited Test Ban Treaty. What is the name of the 1947 U.S. policy providing aid to prevent communism spread? The Truman Doctrine, the Eisenhower Doctrine, or the Monroe Doctrine? It is the Truman Doctrine. On what exact date did President Harry S. Truman announce the Truman Doctrine to Congress? February 5, 1947, March 12, 1947, or was it May 17, 1947? It was March 12, 1947. Which event in Eastern Europe also led to the formulation of the Truman Doctrine? The Greek Civil War, the Korean War, or the Cuban Missile Crisis? It was the Greek Civil War. Apart from Greece, which European country actively received from the United States under the Doctrine? Italy? France? Or was it Turkey. It was Turkey. Which company introduced the iconic forward look design, revolutionizing car styling in 1957? 
Was it Ford? Was it General Motors? Or was it Chrysler? The forward look design, Chrysler. Which sport saw Althea Gibson make history in 1956 as the first African American to win a Grand Slam title? Was it tennis? Was it golf? Or was it boxing? Althea Gibson played tennis. Which American single seat high altitude jet aircraft did the United States operate in the 1950s? The Lockheed U 2, the Lockheed P 3 Orion, or the Lockheed SR 71? It was the Lockheed U 2. What was the nickname of the U 2? The Dragonfly? Dragon Wings, or was it called Dragon Lady? The U2 was nicknamed the Dragon Lady. What was the purpose of the U2 program? Was it a bomber? Was it a fighter jet? Or was it a spy plane? It was a spy plane. Which quick health assessment tool started in 1952 is used for newborns? The pediatric index, the APGAR score, or is it the neonatal assessment scale? It is the APGAR score. Which medical professional introduced the APGAR score? And that would be Dr. Virginia Apgar. What year did the second Apgar test evaluated and reported? What year did the second Apgar test evaluate and report? 1953, 1958, or 1964? 1958. And that was question 100. Thank you so much for playing. Drop your score in the comments, please. And don't forget to subscribe, ring that notification bell, and give us a like. This has been Quiz Time.